Hi, I'm Avery, and today I'd like to go over some basic electrical concepts demonstrated using Minecraft's redstone. What you see before me here is a simple circuit, which is the foundation for every single circuit ever created. In your phone, in your computer, in your TV, all of that is based off of simple circuits. So, what is a simple circuit? A simple circuit is a circuit composed of a battery, a wire, and a resistor. Now this may be a little bit hard to recognize in Minecraft, so I set up some labels over here. Our battery is composed of a negative lead and a positive lead, represented by our black and red wool. Negative is almost always represented by black, and positive is almost always represented by red in the electrical world. You can see over there, there are leads. Our wire is represented by this contraption here, uh, a redstone dust comparator, which keeps the single strength of the redstone wire, which is important later. We'll talk about that in a bit. And our resistor, the most important part, arguably, about a simple circuit. The resistor resists the amount of voltage allowed to continue to the circuit and the current able to go through it. So the resistor sort of it acts as almost a bottleneck for the current in your circuit to slow it down and make sure you don't create a short, which we'll go over in a second. So now that we've defined what our components are, let's look at them in action. So here you can see we have our circuit getting power here and we have 15 volts. This is assuming that each redstone level is equal to one volt. So a standard redstone device gives off 15 power level, so we're gonna assume that gives off 15 volts. Now, as you can see, our 15 volts travels through here, through our 1000 ohm resistor, and that drops our voltage by 15 volts. You all, your resistor always drops your power to zero, otherwise it can't ground. Your ground voltage, your voltage to the wire connected to your ground terminal is always going to be zero, no matter what. What changes is your amperage, or your current. And that's just how fast the uh, electrons are moving through your system. So we need our resistor in order to limit how fast they go, because if we don't have a resistor here, our electrons are going to move at the speed of light and they're going to overload your battery and it's not going to be a fun time. So what happens when we don't have our resistor here and we just replace that with a wire, as you can see here, uh, it breaks because our voltage connected to our ground now is still 15, which can't work. This means that our current is going through our battery at light speed. And that's actually why we have a circuit breaker in our homes. A circuit breaker says, hey, whoa, this is not supposed to be happening, so we're gonna shut it down until we can go ahead and fix it. So let's just go ahead and fix that. And now we should be good to turn it back on. Where, oh, oops. There we go. Now we're good to turn it back on. And there we have our circuit. So, I talked about amperage for a second there, but how do we actually determine how much amperage we have? Well, let's go over to MS Paint to figure that out. So we were talking about how we want to find the current of our simple circuit. And to do that, we have to use Ohm's Law. Voltage is equal to current times resistance. Now, we want to find current, so we have to get that by itself. And using a little bit of algebra, we can manipulate the equation to say current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. Now we know our voltage and we know our resistance, so we can rewrite that as current is equal to 15 volts over 1000 ohms. And that is equal to 0 0.015 amps. A volt ohm is an amp, and a amp ohm is a volt, and all that stuff. They're all the same. 
basically. So you can interchange your units like that. A better way to report this, though, would be 15 milliamps. Since we don't want to have... We, we want to have an integer as our answer. That's a lot easier to say than 0.015 amps. So, now we know the current of our simple circuit is 15 milliamps. I like to finish off by demonstrating something pretty interesting with our simple circuit. So as you can see here, we have our battery. We know it's grounded properly because our voltage, or our redstone signal here, is at zero. And we have our resistor set to 1200 ohms. Now this string of redstone lamps is representative of an LED. Now the interesting thing about LEDs is that they get brighter when they have more voltage flowing through them, and they actually have varying resistance. So they do add resistance to the circuit, but not a set amount like our resistors. So if we take our 1200 ohm resistor here, and we actually, uh, let's say if we go to 900 ohms, you can see our LED actually gets brighter. And it actually has a different amount of resistance, as you can see here, our LED is hooked up to our wire. It actually gives off a different amount of resistance. Now, the thing about LEDs is you always want to give them a proper buffer of resistance, because as you see with that TNT over there, if we actually just remove the resistance, our LED breaks and no one wants a broken LED. So, uh, I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed this simple demonstration on simple circuits. If you really want to go more in depth, if you want to explore the world of circuitry more, I implore you to do so to broaden your horizons and your understanding. Uh, Tinkercad is a really good tool for messing around with this stuff. I highly recommend it. I'll link it in the description. So, um, yeah, that's it.